Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to simplify this and find the final answer. So we have 3 raised to the power of 4, raised to the power of 2, raised to the power of 1, raised to the power of 7, and finally raised to the power of 7. Now, this is in the form of a power b, power c, power d, and so forth. So if you have something of this nature, what you simply do is to start from the top, then you go downwards. So that's exactly what we are going to apply right here. So if you notice here, the first two numbers here is simply 7 power 7. So you have something like this 7 power 7. And this simply means 7 into 7 places. That is this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you add another one, making it 7. Now, for us to find this number right away, it's going to be a bit difficult. So you can easily replace this with x. So you can say let 7 power 7 equals x. That means these first two numbers here, we are going to replace this with x. So we are going to have something like this. Square root of 3 power 4 power 2 power 1. Then 7 power 7 is now x so we are going to have something like this now the next thing we are going to do is we can consider this 1 power x we have 1 power x and this simply equals 1 because irrespective of the value of x we are still going to have 1 so that means this place here we are going to replace it with 1 now we are going to have something like this 3 power 4 power 2 then 1 power x is 1. So this is what we are having at the moment. Now the next thing is for us to consider this 2 again. So we have 2 power 1. And this equals 2. So we will replace this 2 power 1 with 2. So we have our square root again. That means we are going to have something like this. 3 power 4 power 2 power 1 is 2. So we have 3 power 4 power 2. So the next thing is for us to consider this first two again. 4 power 2. 4 power 2 simply equals 4 times 4 and that is 16. So we will definitely replace this with 16. So we are going to have this equals the square root of 3 power 16. So what is 3 power 16? Now if you have something like this, if you have root of a power n, this equals a power n or power 1 over 2 because of this square root here. So we are going to apply this same identity right here. That means we are going to have 3 power 16 all raised to the power of 1 over 2. And if you consider this other identity, a power n or power m, this equals a power n times m. So if you multiply 16 times 1 over 2, this will give you 3 power 8 because 16 divided by 2 is 8. So this is what we have got right there. Now, what is the value of 3 power 8? This simply means we can simply write it as 3 power 5 plus 3 because 5 plus 3 is 8. So we are now having this. Now let's apply this identity. We have a power m plus m. This equals a power n times a power m. So if we apply this identity right here, that means what we are going to have is simply 3 power 5 times 3 power 3. And what is the value of 3 power 5? 3 power 5 simply means 3 into 5 places, and that is 243. So you have 243 times, and 3 power 3 is simply 27. So this is what we are having right there. Now, how do we multiply this out? So, we can simply rewrite 243 as 240 plus 3. Then, what do we do again? So, we can have times 27. We can have it as 20 plus 7. So, if we multiply these two out, we will definitely get our answer right away. So how do we do? That means we are going to multiply 240 times 20. 
So we have it here. 0 times 0, 0, 0 times 0, 0 times 0, 0, 2 times 0, 0, 2 times 4, we have 6, 8, sorry, 2 times 2, we have 4. So we are going to have 4, 8, 0, 0, 4,800 for 240 times 20. So we are going to have another one, 240 times 7, so we have 240 times 7, 7 times 0, 0, 7 times 4, this will give us 28, we have 8 carry 2, 7 times 2, 14, 14 plus 2, 16. So we have 16, 18. The next thing is 3 times 20, 3 times 20 is simply 60. So the next thing is, so we are going to add all this up. The next thing is 3 times 7 and 3 times 7 is 21. So let's add up everything here. So we are going to have 4,800 plus 1,680 plus 60 plus 21. So if you add up everything here, let's add it up. 1,680. This is 0. Then 60. Then 21. So let's add up everything here. We are going to have 1, 8 plus 6, this is 14, 14 plus 2, 16, 6 carry over 1. Add here, this is 9. Then 9 plus 6, we are going to have 15, 5 carry over 1. Add here, this is 5. Then 5 plus 1, we have 6. So the final answer is 6561. So our final answer is 6561.